Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, glad wrap channel here with Terry. So um, it's the open day workout. We're at the uh, the Sky Tower. This is pretty good. It's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good look for boxing, is it? Uh, very good. Um, I think it's very good for women's boxing. Um, this is a great pathway for women's professional boxing. Um, it it does it is hard women's boxing. So this just brings the limelight to women's boxing and and hopefully many events after this for professional boxing for women. So there's a lot on the line, you know, the WBO. So does this mean that they're potentially fighting to be the best female boxer on the planet? Yes, it does. Um, I mean, granted, the division is not is, is nowhere near as full as the men's division, so you can move faster, you know. Um, but it's still a, it's a tough division. You're fighting to be number one, you number one in the world. And Giovanna is uh, New Zealand's highest-ranked boxer in terms of that and again I, I do point out it's not as full as some of the men's divisions so I, you know um, granted you know um, but still it's a great achievement to be there and yes wins the WBO bout um, then opens doors in terms of who we can fight and that um, we'll stay loyal to Bruce because Bruce has done a lot to put on this event and um, it's cost a lot of money so yeah we'll, we'll definitely stay loyal to Bruce and to what's the next steps so and how does it feel for you like as a trainer you know you're potentially training one of the, the best in the world. Is that a lot of stress, or is that a is that some create a lot of sort of excitement for you? You know, uh, it's a bit of both. It's tiring. I um, at one point I was like, I can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> um, but then at other points, it's you know, you, you go home at night and you sort of think, oh, I want to work on that. I want to work on that. You know, so you're always thinking, oh, what we need to work on. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of emotions. But it's I know like a lot of things. It's about the journey. Um, and I know that the journey will be great and things like this is part of the journey going towards it. Um, at the end of the day, the winner is women's boxing, I believe, and boxing. Because it gives us more notice in the world, even having write-ups on the WBO and, and that so the world can read, you know, it's, it's great. So, You know, uh, when you say journey, uh, this is almost just the start of the journey. Like, I mean, if you win the belt, are you prepared to do the whole, defend it and, uh, you know, get the try and be undisputed as well? Or? Definitely. Um, I always said Giovanna will, will fight anyone in terms of, and, and <laughs> there was a bit of a, a thing between, well not Giovanna but it was Clarissa Shields. So Clarissa Shields heard about um, Lani and Giovanna would like, like to fight her and that was more of a respect thing, you know, because it would be great to fight someone like her. And she took it the wrong way and you know, started talking it up. But I mean, yeah, definitely, I would love to fight someone like her, you know, and, um, and it, it, it would, it's, it's like, it's like fighting, I don't know, the a sort of a legend in the sport and the women's and the women's side you know so it'll be great but yeah no definitely this is just the, the very start of the journey you know I mean winning the bouts was great you know and as everything that, that step 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 and then world title um, and we want to we want to unify all the titles get all the titles so uh, just just on the open workout so um, just comparing sort of the differences so Lani was very mobile and she was moving around the ring the whole time sort of trying to hard to try to focus on her where sort of Giovanna was sort of standing a pace, sort of landing power shots, you could sort of hear it sounded more powerful than Lani. Is that sort of giving away the game plan? I mean, do you see sort of Lani moving a lot? Yeah, I mean, in their last fight, that's how it was. Um, you know, the styles make fights. Um, you know, so sort of Lani's got a moving type style, scoring and, and working off there. Giovanna's got to do the work rate, you know, and hold the center and, and, and be the aggressor, you know, so, and, and that's what makes for a good fight. Um, where if you had two sort of doing the same thing, it's sometimes not the best of fights, you know. So, um, and, and that's what makes this fight more exciting. Um, and especially with how Giovanna's performing in the gym, we're sparring. Um, she's sparring uh, top uh, fighters in New Zealand. Especially Smiley is one of her main sparring partners. Um, and you, you're not going to get much better than that in terms of speed, agility and power. Obviously we have to lay them off on the power, but um, but yeah, so um, yeah, and in terms of that strategy, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, that's how it is and who's going to be better on the day with their with their strategy, so. What about seeing John Conway in the corner? I mean, uh, she's uh, she's sort of changed the whole game plan now. Uh, I know, I know he, he was talking about he respects you a lot. I mean, what does that mean? They're, they're taking this fully in serious, right? Yeah, I mean, I respect John growing up in the amateurs and stuff. I remember watching John fighting as a kid and stuff, and um, I respect John quite a lot, you know. So um, it's, yeah, it's hard in that sense. Um, and, and, but, you know, we've, 
our, our fighters are doing quite well at the moment, you know. So we've got a lot of, um, you know, like Troy Garden, you know, representing New, representing New Zealand and a lot of our amateur girls and New Zealand champs and um, our boys are doing quite well and stuff. So, um, you know, we, we have had to deal with lots of different competitions. So, but yeah, no, definitely seeing John and, and I know that he's going to be coming out with um, his experience and that. So I mean, I've been in the game since I was eight, you know, and had to retire from so many injuries and that. So it's, I've been in it for a long time as well. So it's good. Competition's good. Uh, so you know, as you said, um, Giovanna is going to be aggressive. Do you do you predict maybe a knockout in, in this fight? Do you think it's going to be different? We never say a knockout. A knockout will come if it's there. If it's there, you, if you if you say we're going to go and knock out someone, then the game plan goes out the window. You know, so if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, at the end of the day, a, a, anyone could get hurt. You know, and and, and that's it. Giovanna is the aggressor. She is the power puncher, but everyone's only human. You know, and. Um, We've got two two arms, two legs, and one head. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's what happens in that gut in there is up to the what happens in the fight. You know, a punch could be landed at, at any time. You know, so um, so I don't like predicting anything in that in terms of like a knockout or anything like that. So, uh, just quickly to focus on Smiley. So he's got a he's got a busy, exciting schedule coming up. So uh, talk about his upcoming fight as well on the undercard. Yeah, so he's fighting uh, Thomas Russell, and he's a he's a tough boy. Um, he's fought all top fighters, you know, and, and he's, you know, his his record doesn't do him do his fighting justice because he is a tough fighter. He had a tough fight with um, David Light, you know, and David Light, you know, obviously won and put him away, but it was a, you know, he's, he stood and he fought, you know, and um, and so we're not taking him lightly, you know. It's not this is not a light fight um, that we're taking. Um, after this fight, it's Panuvi for the New Zealand title. So that's going to be a great match. Um, it'll be a great match because you've got two, two power punches. And, um, <laughs> you know, who knows what happens? So it's, uh, you know, and, and again, all respect to Panuvi. He's a great fighter in it. So, um, and you just can't, you can't go, you just can't look at someone like Panuvi and not have respect for him because he has done so well. He was in the amateurs and stuff. So, you know, it's going to be a good fight. I mean, Smiley is, is very explosive and hits very hard for his weight. Um, and yeah, so it'll be, it'll be an interesting fight. One thing about Panuve, he's, he's sort of been on the decline. I don't know if he's been on the decline, but he's sort of put on the extra weight. Where Smiley is always in shape, he's always looking strong. Do you do you think this is the moment to capitalize on, on Panuve? Do you do you see a victory actually happening and, and for the title? I mean, I know Smiley has talked about the title for a while. He wants to be the first um, person from New Way. Uh, Tokola, Tokola, Tivalo, Tivalo. Yes, he wants to be the first person from Tivalo to get the title. So. How, how do you see that fight going? Um, yeah, I mean, you could be right, um, you know. But then we ne we'll never take him lightly, you know. So he might be on the might be on the decline. He might not be, you know. Um, you know, he might be training hard behind the scenes. So we'll, we'll never we'll never take him lightly. He's, and he's the type of guy you would never want to take lightly because he has got that power, you know. And, and um, Giovanna's fought his um, sister, you know, um, and you know she's a very good fighter, you know. So. You know they're good fighters, the, the the both of them. You know, so we we, ne we never take them lightly. So, so I guess uh, just the last words. You know, if you don't know Terry, I mean, he has the top boxers in his stable. You know, Troy Garden, uh, Team Mayhem has all sort of boxers. So just I don't know, just the last words, just for what pe people can expect from this fight night. Um, I I think it's I mean, to to be honest, Bruce Bruce has done an amazing job, like um, to to put on this fight, to get it done. The amount of money that's gone into it is huge, and um, Bruce was willing to put it on, you know. And, and so, I mean, all props to Bruce, and he's done a great job. He's put on some good. There's going to be some good undercard pros, Kimi versus Julius. I mean, you know, Smiley, um, and then I think there's a few more pro fights. I mean, it's a great card. It's at Sky City. Um, it's going to be on Sky Television. Um, on a, I think a couple of days later. So, I mean, Bruce has done. I, I might all all uh, congratulations to Bruce because if it wasn't for him, this wouldn't be on. And, that, and that's as simple as that, you know. So he, he's willing to take it on. He, he was willing to take it on, and he's had a lot of sleepless nights. I couldn't even imagine doing it. So, um, but it's going to be a great event, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I think New Zealand boxing is on the up. Um, I think it goes in waves, you know. And uh, things like this helps bring it up. Um, women's boxing is definitely on the up. Um, and yeah, I, I think after after this fight, we're going to sit down with Bruce and talk about what's the next move from there. So. Fantastic. Thank you, Terry, and all the best for the fight. Thank you.